everybody on camera, Justin. It's Felisa, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's Gray and Jerry, and I am convinced that my weirdo self would do fabulously well in some place like Seattle or London where there is copious amounts of rain because I happen to enjoy it. Anyway, I was in Chicago over the weekend. I had an absolute ball. Um, we spent a lot of time on the Magnificent Mile shopping like we didn't have no kind of sense, no responsibilities and no bills, which is an amazing thing to be able to do. I ate so much until I am back on my detox today because, um, yeah, I exercise with no restraint and have no regrets. <laughs> so, anyway, I became um, sensitive to while I was, you know, I'm, I'm a people watcher and an observer and so, you know, there was a certain um, behavior that was emerging as I was there that I thought, when did we start doing this? And I thought maybe it was just local to, to Chicago, but then when I got home yesterday, um, I ran into the same type of thing at the post office. And I it, it just made me wonder, number one, have I been seeing it and just not paid attention to it? Did I ignore it? Am I part of the problem? So here's my presentation for the day. When did we get to be so doggone entitled? I mean, I think that Americans, period, have a tendency to be very entitled, not only entitled, but elitist. Um, which is a, a whole nother conversation. But um, as I was in Chicago, you know, my cousins and I were going in and out of stores. And I just, you know, I am very sensitive to, you know, people who work in the service industry. You know, even when my children were little and, you know, I like the, the, what this, little things used to bother me. Maybe because I'm a mom or I don't know. Maybe it was because I was a, the way I was raised. But, you know, just things like, you know, you walk around with something in your hand and you decide that you don't want it. So you just stick it anywhere. I used to fuss at my kids about that. Like, if you don't want that, go find where you got it from and put it back. Stop creating work for people. That's Go put that back. Or, you know, just like even if I wasn't with my kids, like you see meat or eggs or something that's perishable just sitting on the shelf. Like, who did you leave that for? Or when you go to a restaurant, you just even know, you know, I know that there are certain things that you can't clean or what have you, but I would at least stack the dishes and, you know, wipe the table off. So you just don't look like a complete heathen. Like, you just went out with a whole bunch of animals and you just left a whole bunch of mess. It's ridiculous. Even when, especially when you have small children, just crackers and crap everywhere. Just, anyway, that stuff takes me out. Maybe I'm being overly sensitive, but what else? So, while we were in Chicago, um, going in and out the stores, I just became aware of, you know, people thinking that um, salespeople were their personal servants. And the way they speak to these people just is reprehensible. And my cousins and I all had a complete agreement that we would not be able to do this. We would be completely out of a job because we would have to take those people by the hand and escort them back to wherever it is they came from. And you cannot just talk to people like you've lost your mind. Those are not just personal servants. And not even the 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 conversation itself is the tone and it's the expectation and it's the, you know, I'm better than you kind of vibe that you get from people who do things like that. It's disgusting. So anyway, we were at Saks at the NARS counter. Shout out to Monique who is fabulous. If you all are in Chicago, I'm telling you, and you're looking for makeup, please go see her over at the uh, the NARS counter in, um, in Saks on Michigan Ave. She was fabulous funny she is stunning she knows her stuff she was able to color match and and get my cousin all together but her demeanor and her her beautiful soul was just just amazing anyway so we're sitting and we're chopping it up with her you know explaining that we are the quintessential tourists <laughs> to, to my cousin my uh, one cousin lives there and then another cousin and I went with she lives um, near me and so the two of us that were visiting we're like doing the whole touristy thing okay fine so uh we're explaining that we're the quintessential tourists and you know we're doing all the touristy things and you know we're having a ball while we're having a conversation this woman comes over out the blue and without excuse me without you know pardon me you know can I interrupt you for a moment which one of these were you telling me so we all are, you know, giving the sister look, right? Like so. Okay. So, ever gracious, Monique looks and she hands her. She remembers. I don't know how long it had been since she had been there, but she hands her whatever the product was. 
the woman I want to I'm gonna be fair I do think that the woman at least said thank you or thanks or something brief and then walks off so we're all looking at each other and so you know she she said you know this is just typical this is just you know par for the course and so of course my cousins and I start to have the conversation that Monique can't have because you know she's a professional and she's at work and she's gracious and so you know my cousins and I are like child couldn't be me mm. could not could, mm -mm. could not be me and the reason that we said that it's not because obviously I want to make sure that I'm clear it's not that we couldn't be you know in sales or, or work with the public we couldn't work with the public in that capacity because the public is rude the public is entitled the public the public is a spoiled toddler who thinks that they're supposed to be able to have their wages because they demand it they think that everybody is supposed to drop everything that they're doing and pay attention to them and I don't know when we started doing this is this something that I have been ignoring or I've just not paid attention to maybe I haven't seen it in this capacity of course I've encountered rude people of course but I don't recall being this hyper aware of just rudeness so when I come home yesterday so now I'm thinking that this is a Chicago thing I'm like mm, this must be a Chicago thing this is crazy because I was also asking my cousin like why <laughs> you go into every store I thought that it was just good customer service but then I realized that you know it's it's if it's not security guards it's the police or you know some salesperson that's like posted up at the front door <laughs> they greet you when you walk in but it's you know hi good morning I'm like hey how you doing girl but then I'm thinking every store though and so my cousin was like yeah because they'll try it you know they'll do a you know a, a mad dash out the out the door I'm like oh okay so I get back home anyway that was a complete sidebar so I get back home yesterday and so I needed to go to the post office um forgot it was tax day uh, so the line is out the door but i needed to to mail a particular package so i'm standing in line i get up to the counter and i'm standing here and there's another woman standing over here and so the woman literally walks up to the counter this is the post office walks up to the counter with a a, a gift bag looked like an easter gift bag it was really pretty but she puts it on the counter and so the the woman is looking at her the clerk is looking at her like she's like do you want to mail this the woman's like yes so the, the, the clerk is like you're gonna have to put that in a box and she said i, I can't put that box together <laughs> so i'm ear hustling i'm trying not to make direct eye contact with the woman but i need to see who can't put a box together what is happening so so i turn i look it's a woman of a certain aesthetic so i'm like this is crazy and so she said well i usually go to ups they do all this for me so the clerk very politely told her <laughs> she told her um, well, here we teach you how to be self-sufficient. Each one, teach one. I thought I would holler. <laughs> I thought I would fall on the floor. I was in tears. But you know what? Um, that's I, that's something that I'll probably say. And she said it so graciously. Like she she didn't say it in a smart way. But honey, when I tell you that, we was over there making all kinds of eye contact. So when a woman walked away, she was very upset at having to have been taught how to put together her own box. It was ridiculous. But that's the kind of mentality. I don't know how you function in your day-to-day -day life. I don't know how you get along in your day-to-day -day life. Who is pandering to you? Who is catering to you on this level that you don't know how to put together a box? That you literally come and think that somebody is supposed to assist you in a way that you are supposed to be self-sufficient. Now, I have been known to pull the helpless card, but in times when I'm truly helpless, like I don't know what to, like if, it, if, if it's a matter of, I don't know. Okay, y'all don't laugh. So I I I had a, a a low pri a low pressure in my tire, and so I go over to the Bell Tire. I'm putting air in tire, putting air in the tire, putting air in tire. Nothing is working. So I'm like, this this 
is so crazy. Like, I keep putting air in my tire, keep putting air in my tire, and it keeps showing me that I'm low. Well, come to find out, when I had my tires rotated, the sen they didn't recalibrate the sensor. So now the sensor for the front is reading the back and vice versa. So be because, you know how you have the two tires, the tires diagram. So I'm looking at the tire in the front that's low when actually it's the tire in the back. I needed somebody to help me figure that out because I thought that I was losing my mind. I was losing all kinds of IQ points. So the man came out. He he said, did you have your tires rotated lately? I said, yes. He said, this is probably what's happening. You need to take it to the dealership and have them recalibrated. But in the meanwhile, I put the air in the tire and I'm sure that that'll help. That was so, I couldn't figure that out. Like I seriously would never have thought that. Never in a million years. So yes, I need a, a extra <laughs> I do know how to put air in my tire, but it just was not working out for me. So things like that, I think, you know, if you if you're gracious and kind, and you you know you act like you are um, uh, grateful in your times of stupidity <laughs> and, and dumbness, that people will help you. But you can't just go in and start demanding stuff. Like you need to get your whole entire life. And if y'all are out there doing stuff like that, stop it. These are not your personal servants. These are not your slaves. These are not your, you know, your uh, uh, errand girls, your step and fetches. This is not how that works. This is these people's jobs. And yes, their jobs um, involves a component of servicing you. That does not mean that you get to run them ragged and talk to them in your kind of way as if they live on your plantation. Like that's not that's not how life works. It's just really not. And you're gonna mess around and get the wrong one and get cussed the crap out if they don't come across that counter. I don't care who you are. I, I don't care who you are. There's a certain celebrity that lives in my area that was known and famous for going to a certain mall and acting like she ain't have no kind of sense. I'm just gonna leave it like that. And we heard those kind of rumors all the time. That was legendary. But and it's the reason that I don't go see her in concert. But that's a whole nother conversation, child. But I just think that, you know, people who do that have issues that need to be addressed. You really do. Like you cannot just treat a, a member of society, of, of the public, any old kind of way because you feel like they're beneath you. Like y'all need to really get over yourselves when you do stuff like that. Treat people kindly. Treat people the way that you would you would like to be treated. Give them grace and humanity. Allow them to function in their jobs with dignity, without you coming in and making a whole bunch of declarations and expectations and all other Asians. Get yourself together. Stop it. Just stop it. I'm Felicia. Y'all have a wonderful day, and I will talk to y'all later on. Bye.